Hey YouTube! Turns out I'm not dead. I was just gone and then I had to move into a new house, so I'm here. I'm back! Okay, so I've been on a little bit of a hiatus and the whole thing was is I bought a house because I'm an adult technically and then you're supposed to buy a house and then when you're moving into it, recording and editing video and doing YouTube stuff just, I'm waving my hands so much. Why am I waving my hands? What are we doing today? Okay, well today we are getting back into car audio. Back in the day, back when I was a teenager, I was really, really into car audio. And finally, now that I have like a job and stuff, I'm able to get back into car audio. But there's a catch because as much as I want to do the system in my Forerunner, my wife, who works really, really hard and is this awesome chick that's way too good for me, but she doesn't realize it, is going to be getting a system in her car. She has a 2014 Chevy Captiva, which is basically a baby Equinox. So we're going to be taking four of these Rockford Fosgate R1. See them, camera angles, difficult. Four of these Rockford Fosgate R165 X3s, putting them in the door. So just a simple powered by the stock head unit, factory door speaker replacement, Rockford Fosgate. Great shout out to Amazon. And then for the boom boom, uh, this baby. This is a 10 inch kicker powered subwoofer. It's got the box as you can see, and the amp is all housed in one. It's an all in one piece. Total investment on the system is like maybe 200 bucks. So right now we're gonna get it installed. Uh, so yeah, those are the announcements. Sound system in my wife's car. I'm back on YouTube. If you are a subscriber or new to the channel, thank you for hanging around on this little hiatus that I was on. Uh, yeah, let's do YouTube stuff again. So mid install update, everything's going pretty smoothly. Uh, luckily these cars come apart like Legos, so it's really just a matter of popping off the old door panels, popping in the new speaker, which it's not exactly a perfect fit, but we're making it work and we don't have to use adapters and we can also return the vehicle to stock if we need to. So half the door speakers are done. Just got to finish off the fronts, Brandon is finishing up the sub and actually the sub looks really good if you ask me really really clean um so it's just a mess but that's what car audio installs look like we should be done here in another mm, hour hour and a half Central Missouri. Okay, so sorry we would have filmed more of the installation, but we actually ran into some issues with the install that we didn't expect, which meant filming took a back seat and it was really cold and getting dark and we just wanted to get the thing done. So, where are we at now? Well, the Rockford Fosgate component speakers are in the doors of my wife's car, which again is a 2014 Chevy Captiva. I think they only sold them strictly as like fleet vehicles or rental vehicles, so they're really not that common. Um, but the Rockford Fosgate six and a half went in, no problem. We're running them on a factory head unit, which probably has about two watts of power per channel. But nonetheless, they sound really good. 
and I'll show you on the back side, which is what really counts. <laughs> the kicker sitting right there, you can see the wirings running off to the side. Um, it went in no problem, and the cool thing was is the low pass or high pass inputs, whatever it's called, the wiring that lets you plug a subwoofer, sorry for the power washer in the background, so the cool thing was with that kicker subwoofer, it was 100 bucks shipped to my house from Amazon Prime. It came with the higher low pass input, whatever you want to call it. The thing that lets you plug a subwoofer into the factory system, uh, all we had to do was run the remote turn on in the power wire, or the remote turn on in the speaker wire and splice it into the factory door speakers. And then there's actually a liar, low or high pass input. I've had a lot of caffeine, I can't talk in the system, in the box. So you actually don't really have to do anything at all except run the wiring to put it in. It's really super simple. And I know audio videos are tough on YouTube because microphones almost always don't do the system justice. So it's almost pointless to play the system. But in case you were thinking of using either these Rockford Fosgate components or something similar or this powered kicker subwoofer or something similar, I'll go ahead and play something. It's probably gonna sound awful. Uh, the point of this video was that upgrading the audio in a bass Chevy or bass whatever, neither has to be complicated nor expensive, um, especially if you have a friend that actually knows what he's doing. Um, yeah, 200 bucks all in on this system, really happy with it. Uh, it's plenty loud for what my wife listens to and it's giving me an excuse to do the Forerunner sound system, which is coming soon. Yeah, a couple hours worth of work, 200 bucks total for door speakers and subwoofer, super happy with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll play a little something and then uh, we'll probably close it out. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below. I love you all and uh, it's good to be back.